Hello and welcome to today's episode. So today we'll be jumping straight into things and we will be building a cow crusher. So I think most people that have played Minecraft for any length of time probably know how to build a cow crusher by now. It's a very simple design, very simple farm. So we just pop the hopper going into the chest. We're going to build up blocks around the perimeter here. We're going to pop a stair there so we can still actually open the chest and get all the leather and the beef. Just going to build up one more. Yeah, that well, should be okay. And then now, uh, all we really need to do is just go and find ourselves a bucket. Ideally one that's filled up with water. So we'll go fill this one up now. And here we are, we fill up the bucket. Just pop the water in there. This is so the cows will float on top of this. And to stop them escaping, we'll be sticking a fence just above them a little bit later on. Right now, I'm just building up these stairs so we can actually get the cows to walk up and fall into here. Yeah, looks fine. So we'll go and find ourselves some cows. So luckily for us, there are two very nearby, literally just opposite the barn on this little hill. Is going to be a bit of a pain dragging them down here, but I really can't be bothered to go and hunting for cows elsewhere. So these two will have to do. I feel like a lot of this series is just dragging animals around on leashes. But I guess that's a lot of the early game Minecraft, isn't it? Luckily, we'll be moving on from early game stuff fairly shortly. As I said earlier, this is the last episode we'll spend on the barn. We'll be popping back here to add a different layer to it and some more farms around and build up this area a little bit more. But that'll be quite a bit later on. Just because I've got a lot of stuff that I want to get done. And here we are, we've got the cows back. Now it's just a matter of walking up these steps. They should follow us up like so. Just edge out a little bit and he should follow me, spin around and then drop in. And then all we need to do, just like a real farm that we do with animals, run away, the leash breaks and it's in the chest. Now we'll just pop the other one in. He's currently stuck on the trap doors. And when we have both of these actually in the uh, the farm, the device, all we'll really need to do is just feed them wheat until they breed, and then once it gets to a certain amount of cows in here, they will die from entity cramming, and their beef and their leather will be deposited in that chest below. So this guy's having a little bit of trouble with this. And yep, there we go. Don't know what it is that causes them to do that crazy spin, but I think... All, all animals do it when they fall in through like a one a one block hole. So we've added the fence post here. This is just to keep them inside. Otherwise, they, there is a possibility at least that they might be able to float up and get out. And we're just going to remove the outside blocks here. And yep, looks fine to me. Now it's just a matter of decorating the place. I think I'll just pop in some different bricks here to see uh, the textures. So I've decided to keep this place one level above ground just to add some levels to the barn, but also so we can access the chest a little bit easier. Maybe we'll just stick some stairs here for now. I may revisit this place a little bit later on. I am kind of rushing a little bit just because there's so much to do. And I really want to get a, make a start on that giant flame chariot copperhead. Which I believe is going to be my absolute magnum opus. The, the greatest thing I've ever built. It's going to be functional as well, uh, which is going to be crazy. I'm not going to tell you what function it's going to have. You'll have to find out at the time, but it's going to be, it's going to be fantastic. Yep, so we bred those now, they've, you know, they've produced a calf. Uh, I mean, it takes quite a while to actually get enough in here for it to start working, just because I think it's, I think the limit's 25 before they start dying from entity cramming. And looks like it's raining, which isn't good. And it's a bright sunny day, so you can see what I've gone here for the decoration. This is supposed to mimic, represent, whatever you want to say. A sheet because this is like the this is like the slaughter area of the barn, so you don't want you don't want you know you don't want the bees watching the, the terrible things that go on in here. So 
it's supposed to represent like a sheet just covering the area like like you'd have it in in a slaughterhouse medieval slaughterhouse i imagine although i've never seen a medieval slaughterhouse or nor did i live in the mid the medieval mini i can't even speak uh but yeah uh i mean this is like this is this is what i imagine in my mind that you have in medieval slaughterhouses it's probably not true at all i think next step is we are just going to build some banners just to give it like a more you know tattered tattered effect like it's a dirty sheet that's like you know been here for many years now oh, i guess looms are not how you make banners is it just a stick surrounded by a wall yeah it is right i'm stupid you don't need to make a loom uh so yeah we're just gonna make a bunch of these pop them just around like you know maybe stick one just like uh behind so it looks like it's tired fault you know from behind yeah so we'll just take a quick look at that yeah i mean yeah i mean it doesn't really enhance the effects that much but it enhances it a little bit makes it look a little bit more ragged i suppose so we'll make a bunch of these now and then just pretty much plaster them all over this place and here we are so we've just stuck a bunch load of banners a bunch load more banners around the place i don't know why i can't speak today uh but yeah we just pretty much plastered them everywhere i think it looks good i mean the main thing about it that i like is that it breaks up the barn because the barn i think is a little bit too open and i think we may revisit it a little bit later on and change change that a little bit just because i think in minecraft when you when you have a space that's too wide it just doesn't it's too open it doesn't look right it's better to be slightly segmented and the last thing we're going to do today is just put a little pumpkin patch outside now I did plan on making this a rather large automatic pumpkin farm and we will come back and do that at this at some point but I am rushed for time at the minute just got a lot of things going on at the moment so I've not really had much time to play Minecraft uh, that's why the episodes have been a little bit quicker as well but next episode we will be making quite a substantial one so next episode is just going to be all about linking things to the storage system so we're going to link the iron farm we're going to build up the iron farm to make it look like a, a quarry we're going to have like minecarts coming out of it to our storage system we're going to link the storage system to the trading hall below with pipes and things like that we're going to link the auto smelter to the trading system we're going to finally put a chest in the uh in the automatic storage system so i can actually deposit stuff in it without just throwing items into the water stream uh, so there's going to be a lot of building and then the episode after that that's when we're going to go hardcore we're going to start the giant copper flame chariot head which is going to be the main architectural focal point of the base uh, so i really can't wait for that uh, but yeah i mean apart from that i think we're pretty much done for today thank you for watching and have a wonderful day <laughs>